All right, today we're gonna go through the diagnostic screen. This is a last step effort in making a John Deere tractor work. If you're having issues uh, with the can system and the tractor's not performing well, we typically don't advise you to do a steering sensor calibration or a valve calibration, but that's what I'm gonna walk you through today. Um, again, this is a last ditch deal. It's not something we do on a regular basis anymore, but this is how we do it with a Gen 4 display, John Deere Gen 4, and this is a 7210 R series tractor. Uh, but if it has a Gen 4 display, this is how you would do it with this particular display. So you're gonna go to menu, you're gonna go to system, you're gonna go to your diagnostic center. Once it comes up and populates your diagnostic center, you're gonna hit controller diagnostics, touch it in what I would call a long touch, and then you should see a T populate in this area for technician mode. Okay, so now you have your, your black square with a white T which indicates you're in technician mode. You're gonna go down until you find your XSC controller. XSC, steering controller. You hit that and then it comes up and we're looking for the same two addresses that we used before which are address number 22 and 23. Whoops, I passed them. So 22 is your RWAS cow which is your steering sensor calibration and then your valve cal. On this particular tractor, we were getting an active fault code for a valve calibration fault. So we're gonna try to go in and do a valve calibration right now to see if it corrects the issue. Um, just stay on the screen and I'll work the clutch and all that stuff. I'm gonna go into first gear, real slow speed and I'm gonna start moving and then hit interactive valve cow. Wow. Let's go to A. There we go. Sorry about that. Automatic transmissions in a tractor just don't belong. So we're moving forward at a relatively slow speed and once we hit valve cow it's going to walk us through actually doing the calibration and you can see the tires actually turning. And you fan to that mm -hmm. and it's going to tell you and it's all it's totally automatic it's going to go through and do the whole calibration and make sure that it's doing it correctly and if it faults out then we definitely have a John Deere problem if it accepts and and we're able to move forward then then everything's good we'll hit accept and make sure that the tractor is functioning the way that it should function again so it says success so that tells us that we're that it's done everything that we need to do, so we're going to accept. Uh, you can X out of this. The other one is the RWAS cow. I'm not going to do that one today, but it works the same way. Uh, in this particular tractor, we're only having a problem with the valve, so we're going to go back and see if that fixes that issue. So you can hit X back out of this, all the way back to your main run or your main uh, operating page. Um, but that concludes what we're, how to do a valve calibration on a John Deere Gen 4 display.